Today's devotion is about not showing favoritism according to people's status in society. This, the passage today, James chapter 2, verse 1, it starts by saying, My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. And the reason that we must not show favoritism is because Jesus wasn't the kind of person who showed favoritism according to people's status. Luke chapter 14 records Jesus at a meal, and he says this to the host. When you give a luncheon or a dinner, don't invite your friends, your brothers and sisters, your relatives, or your rich neighbors. If you do, they may invite you back, and so you will be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although, although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. And what we have in this passage in James here, we have James taking this teaching from his brother Jesus and he's applying it, he's spelling it out what it looks like for this teaching to be lived out in a church setting. So this is what he says, very similar to what Jesus says. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes and a poor man comes in in filthy old clothes among you. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, here's a good seat for you, but say to the poor man, you stand there or sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? So what James is doing in this passage is he's taking the, pre the teaching of Jesus that we shouldn't uh, discriminate based on people's status. And he's taking that and he's applying it in a church setting. Now, we, we might not be as blunt as to give a prestigious seat to the good looking person or to the, the person with obvious social status and, and telling other people that they should sit on the floor or something like that. That seems like a fairly first century way of doing things. But I think the way that this that, that favoritism plays out in um in our church is, is still as significant. People we choose not to say hi to once the service is over. People that we don't people that we do invite to our community groups compared to the people that we choose not to invite to our community groups because they might ruin the vibe. We need to watch out for this sort of thing. Because we might catch ourselves showing favoritism according to people's status in a way that Jesus himself and his brother James say that we should not. And the reason that this is so problematic for Christians is because it's inconsistent. Because you're a part of God's family is not because you're prized and not because you're important. That's James's next point. It's those who are poor in the eyes of the world but, loved by, but love God who are welcomed into the kingdom of God. This is what James says in verse five. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised to those who love him? You see, we're not welcomed into God's kingdom because of our status or the fact that we did anything impressive. No, we're welcomed in because we were poor and weak and Jesus died for us to save us from our sins. And unless we want our churches to look completely different, completely unlike the kingdom of God, we must also stop being exclusive and playing favorites at church. So you can ask yourself the question, who are the people that you tend to prioritize? Hopefully this has been encouraging for you. Have a good day.